Arewa youth condemn Trump, one of World War Three. Arewa Youth Consultative Forum, AYCF, on Sunday condemned the United States President Donald Trump over the killing of Iranian General Qasem Soleimani. Speaking exclusively with Daily Post, AYCF President General Yerima Shetima said Trump should be called to order a U.S. backed airstrike at Kid Soleimani, who is the Revolutionary Guard General and head of the elite good force at Baghdad International Airport. Soleimani's killing had sparked rumors of a third world war likely to start between the U.S. and Iran. However, Shetima said Trump should be made to understand that his actions are inimical to world peace. Shetima warned that urgent steps should be taken to avert the possibility of a third world war. He said Trump cannot continue to target people for difference, differences in ideas and beliefs because he is leading power. You start assassinating people, it's not right in any part of the world. Trump should be called to order that his actions are not right. He can't continue like this for the sake of peace in the world. There are possibilities of a third world war happening as a result of Trump's actions. However, major steps must be taken to avert unnecessary dangers because it's avoidable. Wow, what a good advice. What's, you know, is a really, is a welcome uh, development that a uh, Arewa youth warning or encouraging or advising uh, United States, you know, most especially the uh, president, Donald Trump, uh, Donald Trump. But the question is that what is happening in Nigeria? I think they should focus more attention on on uh, what is happening in Nigeria. We have uh, the, the Boko Boys, we have the Fulani Esme, we have the so-called bandits, we have all manner of things happening in their region. How many times have they come out? We learned that some people, some uh, Muslims in the north, specifically in Kano, came out protesting, doing all manner of things. These guys will never protest for even the bad things happening in that, in that area. They will be covering it. They will be covering it. It's good that they are advising Trump in their own uh, opinion, you know, from their own submission. That is what they think, that if uh, the man is not called to order, that something else would happen. But what is happening in our country, what is happening day to day, you know, it's just like a free fall. I think they should see, put that energy in what is happening in our country. If they put this energy and they condemning what is going on wrong in this country, I think we have a better place. So it's a good thing. But let's hear what the Nigerians are saying concerning the the warning from Arewa youth to Trump. Someone say says a trouble they sleep in anger they touch in tea. Hmm. Daddy Trump, please the identity of the bad crops are here just in the northern part of the of Nigeria, their name now, Arewa. Someone says here, please, Mr. President Donald Trump, they are not representing Nigeria's interest to the Afulani. Send your bomb to the northern part of Nigeria, specifically Kanu, Kaduna, Daura, Sukutu, etc. Oh my goodness, a lot of people are really, really afraid. Hmm. And someone replies, to This person that's funny, uh, fear, fear, you are cracking my ribs. Oh. Mm, you are a joker. Funny you. And someone say, get up and mobilize Boko Haram to go and attack Trump at White House instead of giving him warning. Shetima, leader of a Boko Boys. Hmm. What are you talking about? And someone say, see this man oh, that doesn't know the route to any international airport warning US. Chai Abuki na Abuki. I don't really understand. Let us face our problem to get things done in our country. Exactly my thoughts. If we can, you know, put this energy and criticizing what is not supposed to be, what is no good, I think we'll have a better place. But a situation whereby things will be happening because of these people are, or the, the, the bad thing happening is from my side. So, so that I don't look as if, uh, you know, my side is always creating uh, trouble here and there. You know, they try to cover it. And that is why we are not moving forward. But when it comes to other people, oh, the same thing that people are accusing them of, others will do it. That even when it happens or when it 
happening in their own zone or their region. They wouldn't want, don't want to say anything. The next thing, oh, some people are just there to tarnish their image, you know, this and that. But as soon as it happens elsewhere, they will come out boldly. Hypocrisy, that is why any 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 people or any nation, you know, in, you know, being hypocritical about the truth, they will never move forward. They will never move forward. The only thing that can make people move forward, or you know, sure move forward, when people come together, having one united voice to tackle an issue, to say things just the way they are. You know, everybody will be able to maintain and do the right thing. But when people are doing the wrong thing and they know that their people will still come and support them, they, to defend them, you know, they will continue to do that thing. And that's why a lot of all of those things, all these uh, atrocities going on, we've not been able to end them. So they are advising Trump on what happened, that if no care is not taken, something unexpected will happen, and they should call him to order. That is what they are saying. Hmm. Someone says, how some people have started? They always support terrorists. And someone says, hmm. that's their work all the time. If you will ask them, they will tell you their religion is of peace. How it they be terrorists? Somebody is asking that question. Someone says, since the Boko people have been wasting no problem to bring about World War Three, but now because of one of the Iraq general, Trump is causing World War. May God help us to be wise. The innocent blood which you are shedding in the north is, is crying for vengeance. Repent this year, or else God will visit your land. Who else? Hmm. Who else is even talking? Who is supposed to be talking here? Who is supposed to be saying... All of these things and what are we hearing from this particular set of people? And someone says, go and solve your own problem, psychophant. Look, don't touch the anointed servants of God. Trump is sent to rescue the nation. Don't worry, U.S. will soon answer your, your question. Hmm. Someone says, shut up. No go put that man for a rock for big problem, noise maker. Hmm. This, is, this, is, this is unbelievable. That this kind of a thing will be coming from Marewa, Shetima, Will you keep quiet? America will tear Nigeria into ten. No living thing will remain. Hmm. And and they won lion. You are a you be careful. What concerns you with what is happening between Iran and America? When the kid general was going about his terrorist uh, act, killing innocent people and Americans, where were you? Please mind your business. Or do you want to support the Iranians to fight America then? You know what to do instead of issuing empty threats. Stop supporting what is not good. Arewa youth has nothing to do with this. Please, we are Muslims and Islam always go for peace, not conflict. What is Nigeria problem with US and Iran? Wahala, I love these people in Hausa. Your main problem is that the main the man sponsoring Boko Haram is dead, is dead, not Donald Trump, but you will soon get what you wish for. Hmm. My problem with my Nigerian people is that we like to fight what does not affect us, but we can't provide solution to the problem. If we start today, all of us will be finding caves to hide. Our noise, in a sense, is not relevant in this matter. Let there be peace, Trump. Shesima Yerima, where is your problem? What is your problem, Safe? Where is he consigned foul with a Toothbrush, your busy body at times now nah, crazy. Hmm. We never shop belefu. You won't bring war to Nigeria. A lot of people are just afraid that you know these people should just you know let's face what our problem. You know what has been you know what are the challenges we've been having. Just like a uh, Femi Adishino said, you know that we are a we are a sovereign country that America should face their problem. They should stop prognosing. So I think. These people should stop prognosing in what you know does not even have any form any form of a it does not even that that does not even affect them in the first place. So why are they trying to create problem where there is none? They should just you know allow the sleeping dogs to lie. Let us put all those energy in what is happening to us, in with the challenges, in what we have been facing all this while, with all the problems that are facing us both left, right and center. If we do that, I think it will yield us uh, positive results because all of this one that they are coming out, they are protesting, they are doing this and that, it's not going to help us. It's not going to help anybody. It's not going to help them because 
if you are protesting, nobody is seeing you. It will not have any effect. But you should only protest in your country with what is happening in your country so that the government will have a change of heart. Not those people that will not even hear or will not know that you are existing. I don't know the impression they are trying to create. So guys, I would like to hear from you the warning of a RAY youth to uh, Donald Trump, whether it holds water, you know, in your own opinion. Leave your comments below and let's learn from you.